we are at our gate, yeah. almost ready to board. <laughs> we have arrived in. <laughs> Hello. Guys. Good morning. Good afternoon. I yeah, think it's it, afternoon. It is actually the afternoon. Well, it has been a chaotic 24 hours yeah. as we try to get ready for our very first international trip since the pandemic. Since yeah. <laughs> yeah. Since January 20 no. January 2020. January 2020 right. was when we returned from our last international trip. Wow, it's that's a lot of months. I'm not even able, I'm not like 18, over 20 months. 18? Like yeah, it is about, 20? yeah, it's about 19 actually. Yes. Yeah, something like that. Um, so yeah, I feel like we've almost forgotten how to vlog, how to pack, how to get ready, how to sort how our to film? gear, <laughs> film, documents. Yeah. It's been a lot. It's um, been a while, but my gosh, are we excited? Yes. We are going to a destination. That we're not going to tell no. you, actually. I no. think what we're going to do to make this fun, we're just going to drop little clues okay. throughout the video and see if you guys can guess. That sounds good. Um, and we'll reveal it when we land. But right now we're behind packing, so we need to get yes. going. We forgot so. how to do everything, guys. Earthling, wow. Earthling. But yeah, we're excited. We're happy. I think we're going to leave you here and we'll pick it back up at the airport or maybe we'll bring the camera upstairs there's family visiting yep. it's chaotic there's a lot going on see you. see you what did you nearly forget sam oh my gosh my computer now too thank I'm you for hauling my stuff i'm gonna carry her no i can carry the day pack Thank right you, here. sister. She's a working professional yes. at the airport. Alrighty, meal time. First meal of many because we came to the airport early since my sister had to start work. That's right. But I mean, it's like four hours till our flight. It is. So what do we got so, first? Let's lift it up and show the peeps. The peeps. We got Indian food. Paneer butter masala. That looks so good. It does look good. Oh man. It was rice. Mmm. Mmm. So, this is one of two flights, right? Two flights. We're not telling you where we're going. Oh, yeah. Don't reveal Still the haven't. secret. We should give a clue. All right. I'm going to tell you. Clue number one. Our flight time is under eight hours. Less than eight hours. Where could we be going? Are we allowed to say what direction we're heading? No. Okay. No directions. That's <laughs> All right. your first clue while we eat our first meal of many. Okay. Round two officially here. Round two. I'm not sure we should be eating this much no, before an overnight flight, but no. 
whatevs. Here we are having poutine. It's our last slice of uh, Canadiana, huh? Mm. Before we take off. For a while. For a while. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Look at those curds. Gooey, gooey, cheesy curds. Good stuff. Fries covering baby oil. Yeah. Should we give our next mm -hmm. clue? We'll this? say it's not west. We're not flying west. That's not a very good clue. Yeah, it is. It is. From Toronto, we're not flying west. That is what we're going to leave you with while we stuff our faces with poutine. Good eating. Good eating. Good evening. Now. Greetings. Hello. So we are at our gate. Yes. Almost ready to board. And we thought, I hope you can hear me through this mask, you know? Yeah. Um, we thought we would give you one more clue as to where we are headed. What would that clue be? I was thinking the clue could be, it is a country we have previously visited and filmed on uh -huh. YouTube. Oh, we have so, been there. <laughs> yes. Let's leave it at that. More than once. More than one? <laughs> yes. More than one. More than one. Okay. We have very good news, the best, Samuel. The best, the best, the best news. We are not sitting with anyone else. Look at the leg space. I actually Middle can't really see it. Empty. Oh, this is awesome on long haul flights. This is a slice of almost business class. We'll be able to get some sleep. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Oh yeah, yeah, I love it. Good morning. We are approaching. We are beginning our descent. We're yeah. about to land soon. Yeah, we are. In terms of the flight, it was a pretty decent flight. Um, I'd say about a medium level of turbulence. But considering we crossed the Atlantic, we've had much worse than this before. So just a little bit of sleep. Um, but anyways, we want to give you the final clue. Ooh, what could it be? So at this point, we're willing to tell you it is in Europe. Yes, Crossing the Atlantic was a bit of a giveaway, <laughs> <Yes>. right? <laughs> Sam here is of the opinion that the best way to get over jet lag is by eating just stuff your and feet, eating guys. and eating. If it's lunchtime in the local, the, check out the schnitzel sandwich. We got here. sandwich. <laughs> it's huge, huh? Yeah. And then we've got a salami and cheese one here. Sparkling apple. What's it called? Adelhosen. Apple short. It's like apple juice but fizzy, like with mineral water. Oh, it's apple shortle. There you go. There we go. Let's try this. Enjoy your meal. That's a nice big piece of schnitzel on a sandwich. Mm -hmm. These are premium sandwiches. I remember that about Germany in, in previous trips, just how much we love the sandwiches. We would eat them at bus stations, train stations, on the go. There's so many good bakeries and especially sandwiches here. Wow. And the pastries, don't forget those.
be like, hello. We made it. We made it. <laughs> we have arrived in. I am so jet lagged. I don't know if we revealed the destination to you yet. <laughs> but in case we may you or may haven't not guessed, have. we are in Germany. Germany. And specifically? And specifically the city of Hamburg. Yeah. So we actually flew into Munich. That was our seven hour and 40 minute flight, um, yeah. your first clue. Yeah. And yeah, then we had a bit of a layover there. It was a good layover. So it much so that I was, I basically passed out on a chair for half of it. And you captured that. Sam was the king of napping, yes. the king of siestas. If I had not been there, you would not have made your connecting flight. Well, I'd, okay? still, I, I'd be in Germany, but in Munich, I'd be in the other part of Germany. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> the itinerary would have changed. Yeah, but we wanted to talk a little bit about our travel experience, this being the first time that we're traveling in this post-pandemic world. Yeah. And I mean, there were definitely a few interesting things along the way. For starters, you, you need to be vaccinated or you need to be tested or you need to have proof of recovery yeah. in order to enter Germany. Exactly. Right we, now. We had to show both of our vaccinations. Yeah. Um, they were checking it at numerous uh, stations. Yeah, so they checked that in Canada before we got onto our flight in Germany. And they also even checked it when we came to our hotel this evening. They wanted to see proof. So just something to be aware of. They're also stricter with masks here. Mm -hmm. You can't have a... a specific type of mask, yes. which I'll show you actually. Ta-da! Want to put one. it on? Yeah. So I was wearing my... Uh, my Halifax cloth mask. No cloth masks. And yeah, I, I kind of like when I was told, hey, you gotta you gotta change this. I was looking around and I'm like, oh my gosh, yeah, no one else does have like a homemade yeah, mask. Yeah, so they want the so, surgical style mask. Exactly. And what else? So the other thing that, I mean, I obviously noticed was the flight over to Germany was, wasn't at full capacity. Mm -hmm. It was about mm -hmm. 70, 80%. We got really lucky with that middle seat. Makes all the difference to sort of be able to sleep. We took turns back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> I'd lean in, he'd lean in, yeah. and we kind of napped on that overnight. We kind of napped, but it was somewhat of a turbulent flight, so yes. not too much of it. But nap. it was kind of like the mild turbulence that when you're lying yeah. down, it feels like you could be on a <laughs> boat or a train. Yeah, so. you got, you got, you got it kind of tricking yourself. It's a, yes. So the flight from Munich to Hamburg was as smooth as can be, one hour long. Yes, we flew with Lufthansa, yeah. always a pleasure every single time. Yeah, we've had a lot of good yeah. flights with them. Like The best experiences are with that airline. And then we arrived in Hamburg and then we had to, to seek out transportation. Mm -hmm. So it involved taking a commuter train. Right. Town. Okay, so we took the S1 into yep. the Hauptbahnhof, which is the main central station. And then from there, we had to transfer to the U-Bahn and just travel two stops. So we're not too, too far away. We're staying in Hafen City, yep. which is kind of like the port area where you have the old red brick buildings. It's probably the most beautiful oh, and iconic part of the exactly. city. Exactly. That's, that's, yeah. That was the word I was going to say. It looks so iconic. Yes. It looks like when I think of Hamburg, any pictures or images or videos yeah. I've seen, this is the Hamburg. Yeah. So it's so cool. We couldn't be in a better location. We're surprisingly feeling decent. I mean, we didn't definitely didn't get a, our full sleep. But we're feeling good. It's like 6 or 7 p.m. We've showered, hot showers, refreshed, yeah. clean clothes. We're going to go out for dinner. We're going to have a nice walk, maybe visit an attraction or two. Yeah. And then we're going to go to bed at a local, <laughs> a reasonable local time. Please, and let us sleep through yes. the night. That's the goal. So that is our plan to beat jet lag. If we if we can do that on night one, we mm -hmm. we we might have smooth sailings. There, it really depends. I don't allow myself to sleep. I'm like I'm yeah. too excited to be here. I feel like part of it is we're running off of a bit of adrenaline. We mm -hmm. haven't done a trip like this in well years. So yes. <laughs> it's so exciting. It has been almost two years. We're so 20 excited. Twenty months, yeah. guys. Twenty months. We're so excited to be here, and um, yeah. So I thought we would also give you a little overview of what to expect in the upcoming videos. So for this trip to Germany, we are teaming up with the German National Tourism Office for the first 10 days or so. Yeah. So they've created a really cool itinerary where we're going to be showcasing a lot of smaller and lesser known destinations. Even though we're starting and finishing off in big cities, Hamburg <laughs> and Berlin, there's going to be a lot of like... Tranquil places. More tranquil destinations yes. in between. So we're super excited. There's going to be castles. And that suits vineyards, us well. Cute towns. And then after 
afterwards, we've decided to extend our flights and actually spend a full month in Germany. And we are planning to head south down to Bavaria. Uh -huh. So I'm really excited for the mountains, the hiking, so, the nature, the food. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I can't wait. So from north to south, we are yes. starting in Hamburg. Yes. And we are going to finish in the south of Germany. We we'll hope you'll stay tuned for that whole series. Yes. We think it's going to be awesome. We're pumped. We pumped. we couldn't have more energy for this. Yeah. We couldn't be more excited. So uh, stay tuned for plenty more episodes. Ta-ta! Ta-ta!